Napoleon Bonaparte, commonly known simply as Napoleon, was a French military and political leader who rose to prominence during the French Revolution in the late 18th century. Here are some of his quotes. Victory belongs to the most persevering. This phrase means that success is typically achieved by those who show the most determination, persistence, and resilience in their pursuit of goals. In simple terms, it emphasizes that enduring effort and tenacity are key factors in achieving success or winning in any endeavor. This quote suggests that those who refuse to give up despite challenges or setbacks are more likely to ultimately triumph compared to those who give in to obstacles or difficulties along the way. Essentially, it highlights the importance of perseverance and hard work in attaining victory or reaching one's objectives. A leader is a dealer in hope. In plain English, this quote means that a leader's primary role is to inspire and instill hope among their followers or constituents. Leaders are responsible for providing optimism, encouragement, and belief in a brighter future, even in challenging or uncertain times. Essentially, this quote suggests that effective leaders have the ability to offer hope to those they lead, motivating them to persevere, overcome obstacles, and work towards shared goals. It underscores the importance of leadership in fostering a sense of optimism and confidence within a group or community. In war, the moral is to the physical as three is to one. In plain English, this quote means that the mental and psychological aspects of warfare are three times as important as the physical or material aspects. In other words, factors such as morale, determination, leadership, and strategy are considered far more critical to success in war than sheer numbers or physical resources alone. This quote underscores the significance of psychological factors in military conflicts suggesting that maintaining high morale and motivation among troops can greatly outweigh numerical or material advantages. History is written by the winners. This phrase means that the accounts of past events and historical narratives are often shaped and presented from the perspective of those who emerged, victorious in conflicts or power struggles. In simpler terms, it suggests that the version of history that becomes widely accepted and recorded is often influenced by the viewpoints and agendas of the prevailing or dominant parties. This implies that the experiences and perspectives of the losing or marginalized groups may be overlooked or marginalized in the telling of history. Essentially, it highlights the bias inherent in historical accounts and reminds us to critically examine the sources and narratives of history to gain a more comprehensive understanding of the past. Imagination rules the world. This quote means that imagination, creativity, and the ability to envision new possibilities have a profound impact on shaping the world and influencing its course of events. Essentially, this quote emphasizes the power of human imagination in driving innovation, progress, and change across various domains, including art, science, technology, and social systems. It suggests that the ideas and visions imagined by individuals can have far-reaching consequences, shaping the direction of societies and civilizations. Overall, the quote highlights the importance of imaginative, thinking and innovation in shaping the world we live in. History is a set of lies agreed upon. In plain English, this quote means that the accounts and narratives of historical events that are commonly accepted and recorded may not always accurately reflect what actually happened. Instead, historical accounts can be influenced by biases perspectives, and agendas, leading to distortions or omissions of the truth. Essentially, this quote suggests that history is often shaped by consensus, 
or agreement among individuals or groups. Rather than being an objective representation of past events, it underscores the idea that historical narratives can be manipulated or constructed in ways that serve certain interests or ideologies, rather than presenting an unbiased and truthful portrayal of history. From the heights of these pyramids, 40 centuries looked down on us. In plain English, this quote means that standing atop the ancient pyramids, which have endured for thousands of years, one can't help but feel the weight of history and the passage of time. It suggests a sense of awe and humility in the face of such enduring monuments, symbolizing the vast span of human history that stretches back over millennia. Essentially, this quote reflects on the grandeur and longevity of ancient civilizations, reminding us of our place in the continuum of time and history. Men are more easily governed through their vices than through their virtues. This quote suggests that people can be more effectively controlled or manipulated by appealing to their weaknesses or flaws rather than their strengths or moral qualities. It implies that individuals may be more susceptible to influence or authority when their desires, impulses, or unethical tendencies are exploited, rather than when appeals are made to their sense of morality, integrity, or virtue. Essentially, this quote highlights the idea that power and control can be exerted more easily over people by exploiting their vices or weaknesses rather than by appealing to their better nature or noble qualities. He who knows how to flatter also knows how to slander. In plain English, this quote means that someone who is skilled at giving excessive praise or compliments, flattery is likely to also be skilled at spreading malicious or false statements about others' slander. Essentially, it suggests that the same ability to manipulate and deceive through insincere praise, can be used to harm someone's reputation through spreading lies or damaging remarks. This quote underscores the idea that individuals, who are adept at manipulating others for their own gain, may employ both positive and negative tactics to achieve their objectives. The best cure for the body is a quiet mind. This quote means that finding peace and calmness in one's thoughts and emotions can have a positive impact on physical well-being. It suggests that mental tranquility and inner peace are essential for maintaining good health and healing the body. Essentially, this quote emphasizes the interconnectedness of mental and physical health, highlighting the importance of reducing stress, anxiety, and mental turmoil to promote overall wellness. It implies that when the mind is at ease and free from disturbances, the body is better able to heal and function optimally. Ability is nothing without opportunity. In plain English, this quote means that having talent or skill alone is not enough to succeed. One needs the chance or the right circumstances to apply that ability effectively. In other words, even if someone has great potential, they won't achieve much if they don't have the opportunity to demonstrate or utilize their abilities. So, it emphasizes the importance of both talent and the circumstances that allow it to flourish. Forethought we may have, undoubtedly, but not foresight. This quote means that while we can certainly plan, and prepare for the future to some extent forethought. We cannot accurately predict or foresee everything that will happen foresight. Essentially, this quote suggests that although we can anticipate and think ahead, there are limitations to our ability to foresee all the possible outcomes or events that may unfold in the future. It emphasizes the importance of planning and preparation while also acknowledging the inherent uncertainty and unpredictability of the future. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends.